Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Let's hop right straight into it. Got the Georgia Tech yellow jackets on today uh, with the hat. Go Georgia Tech. Um, without no further ado, let's hop in right into the video. We're going to finish these up today. Um, going right into the rest of the over-unders for every team in the NFL season. And we're on New York Giants today. Uh, according to FanDuel, they had them at seven and a half wins. Um, they did a pretty good year last season. Um, I think they had nine wins or so. Uh, let's double check just to make sure. They actually went to the playoffs. My, my commanders could have went to the playoffs. They snubbed us on this game. And I think we actually tied up with the Giants. Um, but they went 9-7 and seven last season. Uh, they should be doable to win that uh, extra game, that eighth game on that 7.5 prop that they are listed at right now. Um and without no further ado, let's hop right on into it. Uh, week one, they're playing Dallas Cowboys Sunday night. Uh, the New York Giants did get a little bit better. Um, they signed Daniel Jones to that max contract deal, which a lot of people was a head scratcher to a lot of people. Um, they didn't pay Barkley, you know, close to that amount, and he's the main uh, productivity of that offense. Um, so we're going to see how that plays out as well. Um, the pickups on offense with Darren Waller tight end from the Raiders it's pretty nice solid pickup for the G-men and I like the uh, rookie receiver out of Tennessee Jalen Hyatt he's pretty fast um he was on top top of my receivers board as well coming out um and their defense is pretty stout too you got Desha Lawrence um you got Kayvon Thibodeau on the D-line and then they just traded for Isaiah Simmons and they do have a, a pretty decent um, defensive back group. So the Giants are, um, you know, they're not going to lay down. So I think they can cover this seven and a half based on last year and based on um, the team growth. Uh, you just can't sleep on the Giants at all. They are a better team than most people think. And I think they will show that this season uh, with coming up with a good season as well. Daniel Jones play. Uh, you know, average. As long as he plays average and can, you know, get the ball out, nothing spectacular to get, maybe get those creepy runs that he creeps through there uh, for those 40-yard gainers. But uh, let's hop right on into it, guys. Week one, new thing is going to be tight. I did have Dallas winning this game. Um, this is some fact of their defense, but I do think Giants can pull this off. Um, this could be an upset. Giants could win this game. I'll start Giants 1-0 versus the Dallas Cowboys. And that, uh, then I think they do um, 2 0 versus the Cardinals. They already traded their player away right here. Cardinals um, probably won't really do much versus the G Men defense. It's going to be a good matchup right here. Uh, depends how the defenses play. But I do think 49ers will have a stronger showcasing um, and they will win this game, dropping G Men to 2 and 1. It's going to be another good game right here Seahawks and Giants. Uh, it's going to be a smack mouth uh, football game. It depends how the Seahawks defense can keep and contain Barkley, but um, I do want to get the Giants the edge here a little bit. Um, the running game is what they're going to have to worry about for the Seahawks, but um, in that passing game, they're both. Oh, uh, man. Actually, just let me think about their passing game, Geno Smith. Uh, they can put some points on the board. Uh, it's going to be a really close game. I go Seahawks. Two and two to start off the season. They start off two and zero, oh, two and two, or they can be one and three. So it depends how that plays out for them. The offense, I don't think they're going to win this game. I don't think they're going to beat the Bills. So if they are two and two, two and four at this point. Uh, they lost four in a row. Uh, then they come and play the Commanders. Uh, they could win this game. Uh, I think we will split again this season. It's definitely a tough matchup, um, and I think the Giants are going to be. Hungry to win if they are on a four-game win streak. I do think they beat my team here. But we're going to get them back on the back end of the season as well on our back in hopes of getting into the playoffs. Um, what is this, two and four, three and four here. I think they lose to the uh, Jets. It's going to be a, a nice marquee New York matchup here. Um, and we come three and five versus the Raiders. It's going to be another good matchup. I do think uh, the Raiders could pull this off, but I think the Giants will – get it on the back end um, and become four and five, I believe is the record. Uh, I think Cowboys could sweep, uh, you know, they can split it with the Cowboys as well. 
um, and that will make them four and six here. Then you play us again. Uh, like I said, split again. So that'll be four and seven. Yeah, four and seven. Four and seven. Uh, they can beat the New Orleans Patriots, so I think that's five. Uh, they can beat the Packers. That's six games. Can they beat the Saints at the end of the season? Uh, it's going to be another tough matchup here um, to look out for. Um, definitely remember, definitely will be looking for this game during this time. Um, I do think Saints pull it off, though, versus the Giants. Um, depends how, you know, they're both playing. The Giants are hungry enough, they'll they'll slide on by, but this will be their sixth or I think this will be their fifth win. Maybe sixth, seventh. No, they're definitely going to lose these two versus the Saints and Eagles. The Rams will be their seventh win of the season if they pull off strong and they would have to beat the Eagles. Oh, man. So they got, got them at seven games on this. Um, I do think they could beat the Seahawks in the beginning. They can beat Commanders twice. They can beat Cowboys twice. So And then they could beat the Packers and Patriots here So and the Rams. So that they can beat Dallas twice. You can beat Washington twice. That's four. Packers, Patriots, that's six. Seven with the Rams. Raiders, eight. I don't really see them winning too many more games. Eagles are going to get swept. And they could win, potentially win with the Eagles. So that's about eight or nine right there if you look at it and think about it. Um, but I do think the Giants finish at least eight games. Nobody in our division is going to win seven. It's going to be a close division um, race as well. I just showed you all at the beginning of the video. Uh, Washington Commanders had eight and eight and one. Now when we were last in the division, so I think it's gonna be the same as well. But uh, Giants, I'm gonna hit the over button. I think they're gonna sneak away with some of these games, um, the ones that they have opportunity to win. Uh, and I think they can have an opportunity to sweep the Dallas Cowboys and sweep Commanders. Unfortunately, um, but it's gonna be good. Only time will tell. We'll, we'll, let's see what the Giants have, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna knock out the rest of the NFL videos for. Uh, props for over and under. Uh, make sure you tune in for your team. Comment, like, subscribe. We're going to get more highlights, videos, podcasts, um, sports bets, and challenges as well. Uh, make sure you tune in for our highlights for the local high school students in the area for our uh, premier matchups coming in this fall for football and basketball, guys. Uh, make sure like, comment, subscribe again, and catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.